Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Be ever impressive. But never duplicate. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing great. Welcome to the Art of Noise. So, this ended up being a fail. What? The Epiphone the Special 2 Custom with the, uh, kind of like the spider flame maple veneer top, uh, ended up not working out the way that I wanted it to work. Now, it looks pretty good, okay? Um, but when you rub your hand over it, I can kind of feel that some of the seams overlapped a little bit, which I'm not happy about. And some of the gaps opened up between the seams so I'm looking at it it's not bad and I could probably sand the overlapping down but I don't like it I'm not I'm not happy with it so after I started pulling the tape off of this side I started pulling the tape over off over here and just didn't give a fuck I just started pulling the tape off and kind of pulled some of the veneer start to tear a little bit into slivers and uh, yeah, so I'm going to end up just redoing this whole top. There's some spots that uh, I just I don't care for. And with me, it's like either it's going to be done, it's going to be done nice, and it's going to be done right. So I started looking up online about uh, veneering and using the thin veneers on how to make the seams look like that. Or uh, you know, basically came and see them and stuff. So. What I ended up doing is I picked up a three-hole veneer tape. Now, this is a two-hole veneer tape, and what it is is basically it has holes on one side of it. This is the side that is paper, and this is the side that has the uh, glue on it. You kind of see it's a little shinier. And what you do is you wet this. You get it wet and you put it over the seams after you pull the seams together. You could take an iron and heat it up uh, a little bit. You know, just kind of take a, uh, you know, an iron for ironing clothes. Go over that seam and it'll pull the uh, seam back together tight as it dries the glue and the tape. You know what happens with veneer and water. It ends up wanting to kind of get wavy, um, it swells up, and uh, yeah, well, basically any type of wood and water does that. But with veneer, it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass because it's a thin wood and it wants to kind of like move in different directions and stuff that is, you almost can't control it. So what I'm looking at here is I ordered a, another three sheets of this this veneer um, I do have veneer that uh, I could start this off with but the problem is is this veneer here that I end up got I used two sheets for it and I still have like a lot of extra pieces that would be for the headstock but the problem with it is, is they're not all cut from the same tree and I don't want to mix and match uh, a different cut or a different uh, uh, type of a flame maple compared to what this one is plus the color of the wood itself may be a little bit different than what I have uh, so instead of just doing half the body and and just waiting for the other material to come in I'm gonna wait till a new material comes in and use that I still have one full sheet and uh, I didn't split it or anything so that would be a top for another guitar unless I come up with some type of a crazy idea to do something like this again um, which I actually I do have a crazy idea to do something like this again too with something else but uh, so I was looking up online the three hole uh, tape that I just ordered you could put it on the back of the veneer and you can glue that side down you don't have to remove it this two hole or no hole veneer tape you put it on the top and you sand it off well I have did it before with a two hole and I don't like the way it, it looked after I sanded it down. Um, it just didn't look, just kind of have a little weird look to it. I don't know if it was from the adhesive, from the uh, tape or what, but I didn't like it. Or I can go with something that I just tried uh, this morning and glue the two pieces of veneer together. So this is two pieces of veneer and I wrote back on here. And you can kind of see that there is a line going down the center. That's the glue line. And, uh, yeah, so this is pretty sturdy. 
and I did use water to remove it was just a very lightly damped paper towel and uh, to remove the glue that was coming out of the edge now this is kind of a pain he has to do you end up taping the bottom putting some strips on the back just regular masking tape which this masking tape here is not a good idea for veneers because as you can see on here when you remove it it also pulls some of the wood strands out so I don't want to use that tape I gotta get the blue one that to do this uh, for this I end up using the the green tape as well but I was just very careful you kind of see some spots on the back where it ended up pulling a little bit of the uh, wood fibers out and so this side here I ended up it's dry and it looks pretty good I mean I got one little spot right there that uh, is just a wood fault not uh, probably when it was cut not the uh, veneer or gluing it but it looks a lot better than the seams that I'm seeing on this some of these seams look really good some of them don't um, so what I'm going to do now is do another test to see if wiping the glue off helped out at all and making it to where I can actually put a water dye because a lot of the, the veneers that I was seeing that these guys were gluing together online um, they weren't putting a dye on them they were doing something else with them so this I want to see and I know the veneer that I bought is glued together as well and there's no tape seam tape on the back of it so I don't, I'm, I'm kind of like testing this out as I go because this is all new for me so I'm going to use a piece of paper towel, which I'm going to have to get more paper towel. And all I want to do is put a little dye. So I've got some blue dye here that I mixed up. And what I'm going to do is to see if this glue line, or all the glue, has been taken out. And I did hit it with some 600 grit sandpaper, just a little bit. It is nice and smooth. I don't feel anything. So what I want to do is just check to see what's going to happen with that seam if I put some dye on it just to kind of get a look to see you know what happens when you put glue so I see it right here where it's a little bit lighter I'm not crazy about that So if I go ahead and hit it with just a little bit more of the dye, and I'm getting it all over my fingers, I don't care, it doesn't bother me one bit. Kind of rub it in a little bit. If it goes away. Now the reason why I'm wiping the dye off is to see how much of that seam where the glue is kind of gets wiped off with it. So, I'm not too crazy about that glue right there. See, I can tell, I can see it. It just doesn't look, it's lighter here than it is on the rest of the way down. But the seam looks good in all the other places. It came out pretty nice. So, if I force dry it. kind of looks like a little bit no, it's not really force dried that much but still it's dried a lot more drier than what it was so if I went ahead and I'm going to strip this down so I'm going to try try this out now I know this is going to curl up on me because the veneer is wet and not glued to anything so I'm not worried about that That yeah, looks nice, don't it? Yeah, it's gonna curl. It's curling. All right. So let's see something here. Like I said, this is going to be stripped, so I'm not concerned about.
All right, so right here you can see the fibers being pulled away from when I peeled off the tape off the seam. And then you can see where it's darker on the seam line. And this one's not too bad as far as how this looks compared to this. And you can kind of see where it's lifted here, kind of over the seam overlapped itself. So let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can kind of see what it looks like. That looks fucking awesome though, don't it? Doesn't that look pretty cool? But back to the drawing board. So I'm not too concerned about what I have to do and how I have to do it. Now I have more of an idea. And just putting that, I have to wait for the veneer to show up. And it'll be uh, the beginning of next month. So yeah, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I grabbed some of these tabs over here, and that's why this is stripped off like that, because I grabbed some of these tabs to try to pull them. And man, they were, see, like this. The wood's still there. This is like the top coating of it, so that's what this looks like as well. <coughs> Excuse me. But this will be nice when it's done. I just have to fucking figure out another way of doing this, which I think I do. I can't use the tape that I already got, so... And then I got a, um, a, a tape dispenser, which basically uh, one side of it where the tape comes out at wets the tape as you pull it, uh, so I don't have to, like, put that stuff in a bowl and kind of, like, wet it that way and kind of shake it out and then put it on. So I'm going to be doing it just a little bit different. Look, I'm turning into a Smurf. All right, guys, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. This was a fail. Not a big deal. It's a learning experience. I'm not ashamed to say that, uh, in fact, a lot of videos I end up doing some shit that like this and ended up failing at it. I'll let you guys know. You learn from your mistakes. And if I could teach you guys uh, or show you guys to not do the same mistakes that I made and then I come up with a better way of doing it, it works out fine. You know, you guys learn a little bit from it too. So I am going to try to scrub this off my fingers. It will come off very little. Uh, there's nothing really, uh, really to take it off. It's most likely you're just going to have to wear off. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. And I will catch up with you all later.